Hi all, welcome to my YouTube channel. So we are back again with the most important questions for Pilium 2020 and the word of the day is motivation. Let's start with the first question for the day. With reference to locust attack, which of the following statements are correct? First, locusts are a species of short horned grasshoppers that multiply as they migrate. Second, Horn of Africa becomes first migratory locust affected area. Third, desert locust is regarded as the most destructive pest in India only. Now select the correct answer using the code given below. A, 1 and 2 only. B, 1 and 3 only. C, 2, 3. D, 1 only. Now guys, the correct answer here is D, 1 only. Now second statement is incorrect because... Uh, Horn of Africa is affected by desert locust and desert locust uh, is regarded as the most destructive not just in India, all over the world. Therefore, 2 and 3 are incorrect. Now, these desert locusts basically devour on leaves, flowers, fruits, seeds, um, growing plant and um, they basically destroy everything because of their massive share, share weight that they carry because they travel in swarms, alright? And recently, Pakistan and Somalia have declared locust emergencies, okay? Now, uh, the Food and Agricultural Organization, please note, has identified three hotspots of threatening locust activity, okay? One is Horn of Africa. The second is Red Sea area, that is your Saudi Arabia, Oman and Yemen side. And... Um, then we have the South West Asia, which includes India, uh, uh, Iran and Pakistan. Now, in India, specifically, the state of Rajasthan and Gujarat are the worst affected by this type of locust. And that is the desert locust, alright? And uh, the overviewing ministry that is responsible for monitoring and serving the desert locust and uh, the locust issue in general is the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. Alright, and uh, please note this very important thing is that India only has one locust breeding season, okay? That is in summer compared to the other three that is in uh, winter and in spring. So, we only have one locust uh, breeding season. And also, uh, in case of India, we have identified four species of locust, okay? First is your desert locust, then we have the migratory locust, Bombay locust, and then we have the tree locust, okay? Now, moving on to the next question. Consider the following statement. First, Drake Passage between South America and Antarctic Peninsula. Second, Indian Scientific Expedition to the Southern Ocean 2020 program was initiated by the Ministry of Earth Sciences. Third, the program will study the Southern Ocean's impact on Indian monsoon. Fourth, polar amplification usually refers to greater climate change near the pole compared to the rest of the hemisphere. Select the incorrect answer using the code given below. A. All. B. None. C. One only. D. Two only. So guys, the correct, uh, sorry, the incorrect here is B. None. The reason being all the statement here are correct. All right. Now, uh, before we move on, move on, just understand this, that recently the 11th expedition of the, of the uh, Indian mission to the Southern Ocean uh, has been commenced and therefore this piece of information was in news all right and uh, uh, what will this uh, mission study is basically uh, that a polar region and the surface temperature there are rising twice as fast as compared to the global average all right and therefore uh, in order to understand the impact of this and why this is happening this mission has been commenced all right so moving on to the next question India Investment Grid is an initiative of which of the following departments of the Government of India? A. Department of Electronics B. Department of Industry and Trade C. Department of Commerce D. None So guys, the correct answer here is D. None Because it is actually an initiative of uh, the Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade. All right, And basically to enhance the business platform in India and basically uh, improve the ease of doing business. All right. So moving on to the next question. Which of the following statements here are correct? A. Greenfield project are a project that is built from scratch and it lacks constraints of prior work. Second, brownfield project, uh, the structures would be would need to be demolished or renovated. Third, the advantage of brownfield investment strategy is reducing the startup cost. Choose the correct code. A, all, B, none, C, two and three only, D, one only. So now, guys, the correct answer here is A, all of the above. All right. Moving on to the next question. Global migration report is published by A, 
International Organization for Migration, B. World Health Organization, C. International Labour Organization, D. World Bank. So, the correct answer here is A. International Organization for Migration. So, moving on to the next question. Consider the following statement with reference to proton therapy. Achha, before we move further into this question, uh, one question is what is proton? Okay. So proton is basically a, a positive charged particle that is in the nucleus of an atom. Okay. For uh, example, could be uh, a single proton uh, in the nucleus of hydrogen atom. Okay. So now let's move into the question. First, proton therapy is a type of radiation therapy. Second, Tata Memorial Center, a grant and aid institution, has initiated a collaboration with Bhabha Atomic Research Center for research in proton therapy. Now, which of the following statements here are correct? A, both, B, none, C, one only, D, two only. So, the correct answer here is C, one only. Now, why is the second statement incorrect? It's because uh, the Tata Memorial uh, Center uh, in uh, collaboration with Baba Atomic Research Center and uh, the, uh, the, the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research. All right. So, there are three institutions basically coming together in order to do research therapy on proton. And also, why is it useful? Because uh, the high energy protons can destroy cancer cells and hence can be combined with X-ray radiation therapy and surgery uh, and chemotherapy. All right. So, moving on to the next question. Which of the following statements here are correct? First, Asiatic lion is listed as critically endangered under the IUCN Red List. Second, it is listed in Schedule 1 of the Wildlife Protection Act. Third, the Asiatic Lion Reintroduction Project is an initiative of the Indian government. Fourth, the project aims to establish a second independent population of Asiatic lions at the Kuno Wildlife Sanctuary. So, the correct answer here is D234 only. All right. Now, the reason being is that Asiatic lion is actually um, under the endangered list and not under the critically endangered list. Okay? And also, uh, one key difference that is between Asiatic and the African lion is that uh, the, the Asian lions are actually slightly smaller than the African lions. And also, the male Asiatic lion has a relatively short and uh, uh, sparse kind of a... Uh, mane okay compared to the fuller mane of the african lion all right and uh, also one important difference is that uh, the the ears of the male asiatic lion tend to remain visible because they are kind of long okay so this is these are the minor differences but it could be useful in terms of writing a mane's answer all right now uh the next question, select the correct statement from the codes given below. First, the mission Raksha Gyan Shakti was launched by the Ministry of Defense. Second, the objective of this mission is to create a greater intellectual property in defense production. Choose the correct code. A, one only. B, both. C, none. D, two only. Now, the correct answer here is B, both. All right. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, moving on to the next question. With reference to Ajanta painting, which of the following statement is correct? First, only fresco style is used in Ajanta painting. Second, the Ajanta painting depicts various scenes from the life of Buddha. Third, the Ajanta caves are mentioned in the memoirs of several medieval era Chinese Buddhist travelers to India and by a Mughal era official of Akbar uh, era in the early 17th century. Which of the following statement you are correct? A. All. B. 2 and 3 only. C. 2 only. D. 1 and 3 only. So, here the correct answer is B, 2 and 3 only. Alright. Now, the reason being both fresca and tempera style are used in uh, the Ajanta painting. Achha. Now, before we move further, what is fresco painting? So, basically it is uh, made on wet plaster. Alright. And tempera on the other hand is made on dry plaster. Okay. Now, uh, also... Uh, uh, this uh, Ajanta painting, according to the UNESCO, is actually a masterpiece of Bud Bud uh, Buddhist religion art structure. Okay. So, oh, oh, oh yeah. And before we move further, uh, one must know that 
this particular ajanta painting wasn't built in one go all right they were built in two uh, separate phases okay the first phase uh, is around uh, i think approximately 2nd century bc and the second uh, phase is actually from 400 to 650 uh, ce all right so moving on to the next question angikar campaign in news recently is launched by which ministry of the government of india a ministry of housing and urban affairs b ministry of agriculture c ministry of human resource development d ministry of commerce and industry so the correct answer here is a ministry of housing and urban affairs theek hai now what is angikar campaign basically it has been launched for social behavior change all right which focuses on issues such as water then waste management health tree plantation sanitation hygiene etc and the beneficiaries uh, of this particular is the uh, uh, those under uh, the pradhan mantri awas yojana all right so yeah so that's it for the day and for more information on our various courses please visit our website www.ashas.com and for more such videos like share subscribe to our youtube channel thank you